All right, so now I'm gonna give you a quick refresher review or a quick how-to on how to submit your artwork. First is if you have a portfolio. So if you have a portfolio, please watch closely, and then I'll show you afterwards if you don't have a portfolio what to do. So first things first, if you have a portfolio, you wanna go get it. So I'm going to open a new tab. If you have it bookmarked, even better, hurrah, mine's right there but you can click on the Google waffle, go to Google Drive, and then you can look for it. If you've worked with it recently, it'll be right here at the top. Um, the easiest way to find my portfolio is I know the name of my portfolio. And so I type in, the name has example in it. And so I type in example and boom, it's right there. Double click and voila, I've got it. So when I'm adding stuff to my portfolio, I like to keep the beginning of my portfolio consistent. It's the same, right? It introduces me, my artwork. I can add some little elements to it, but I really don't like to shove my projects in these first few pages. I go to the very end of my portfolio and add new pages there. So you can add new slides either by clicking up here and choosing one of these, one of the things I don't like about that is these don't have my fonts and colors in them correctly. So I'll show you a little trick. You can, if there's a slide that you like the way that it's set up, right click and duplicate it. Then you can even, if it's somewhere else, drag it down to the bottom, right? You can move these slides anywhere. So I can drag this down to the bottom. See, it makes two copies now. I'm gonna delete that artwork. You do not have to get fancy with your titles. At the very minimum, please, please, please tell me what lesson it goes to with buzz so 301 is all i would really need but you could get fancier here you know level four color something like that okay if your artwork is in paper the easiest way is to use the insert image that little universal mountain in a box picture go to camera and then this is where you want to take into consideration some of the best practices for taking good pictures, which include make sure that you have good lighting, make sure that you zoom in and don't have too much space around, don't angle the artwork awkwardly or crop it off, right? You want a nice centered, bright camera held straight up against the artwork. Okay, so when I'm over here, same thing. I wanna sign my artwork before I'm done. So, um, you know, the color wheels and things, that's up to you. Although I think this color wheel is a pretty cool finished piece of artwork, so I signed it just by putting my initials LS and 2021 in the corner. So think about right claiming and owning your artwork. So give it a signature. Now I'm gonna to try to hold it without my fingers in the way as much as possible. If you can get some help with this step, I recommend it. If you can use a camera, um, like a camera phone or something, that makes it a little bit easier, but watch, this works. Now I can click capture. I can take more than one picture. So, right, I don't have it angled or cropped funny. I just have it nice and centered well, and as straight as I can get it. Now I can look and see which one. Hey, that one's pretty straight. Now click insert, then double click on it so I can move these little black bars in and crop out some of the oh, awkwardness. That happens a lot. So then I just undo because I didn't mean to stretch it in there. I meant to crop it in there. So I can crop out the room and the other things and then click outside of it and make it bigger, right? This is your artwork, celebrate it. You don't have to cram it all into one slide. You certainly could put, um, you know, multiple pieces in there. I think, you know, for some instances, you know, having for level four for what we're doing right now, this makes sense to have them in there. So let me show you how you would add your digital artwork. If it's in uh, Sketchpad, open the tab, go to Sketchpad if you have it bookmarked, or type, start typing in Sketch and look for the one with the question mark. That will remember you. It'll open the last thing you're working on, so if that wasn't the right thing, you can click on the folder and see all of your different artwork there. So if you're looking to turn in your collage that you made, double click to open that. You can even click on the little zoom and make it fit in the window so you can kind of give it one final check, make sure it looks how you want. And then two things, to make sure that these save and update, go into settings and this will be off. Turn on Google Drive. It should, fingers crossed, pop up a window 
and let you sign into your school account. And then it will start to sync and sync your files in your Google account. You can't find them from Google, but it gives them a place to save and turn on auto save if it's not, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the little export robot and click download JPEG. <clears throat> there we go. It downloads it right to my browser, leave it there because watch this. Come right back over to my portfolio, drag and drop it. And there we go. So that's how you can add, whether it's on paper or digital from your portfolio. Then I click share, right? If you've already shared it with me, you don't need to, to type anything up here. You just copy the link and I can get out of there. Pop back over to Buzz, click in the submission spot, right click with two fingers and paste it. I'm gonna type space and please, please, please check the slide number, right? I'm gonna go back and check, okay, slide 17. I'm gonna come in here, type slide 17, and then submit my work, all right? So that's what to do if you have a portfolio.